Lily Elsie was the most photographed actress of the Edwardian era. She didn't really like her profession, because she was shy in life and took breaks for several years. She did not have the most successful marriage her husband did not welcome acting on stage. She was dressed by the famous fashion designer Lucy Duff, who later escaped from the Titanic in the infamous Millionaire's Boat. After the resounding success of her costumes for the operetta, The Merry Widow, everyone paid tribute to the beauty of Lily Elsie, her dresses and hats. Most London department stores began to order copies of hats from the popular operetta. They loved her, admired her appearance, outfits and taste. Member of Parliament, Sir Beverly Baxter, wrote, speaking about the First World War. There wasn't a single British trench left on the front line that didn't have a portrait of Lily Elsie. She had the same English charm as a rose. She forever personified England in the eyes of young men who prematurely became men. The last female face that thousands of young people saw before the attack was that of Lily Elsie. Her eyes became the last women's eyes that many of them saw in their lives. They spoke of this actress as the most beautiful thing in the world. Lily Elsie was our fair lady, we are her faithful knights. I wonder if she knew about this? Lily Elsie, née Elsie Hodder, was born on April 8, 1886 in Armley in West Yorkshire, UK. Her mother Charlotte Elizabeth Hodder, 1864-1922, was a dressmaker who served furnished rooms. In 1891, when her daughter was five years old, she married theater employee William Thomas Cotton, and Elsie became Elsie Cotton. The family moved to Manchester. Elsie discovered musical and artistic abilities very early, and already as a child began performing on the stage of music halls and variety shows in children's roles. She was given the stage nickname, Little Elsie. Despite this, according to recollections, she was very shy and shy even as an adult. Around 1895-96, she began performing in concerts and pantomimes at the theatre.